Hello children and welcome to your channel Sharda Educare and in this video we will be learning similarity and right angled triangle. So we will begin with theorem 1. In a right angled triangle if the altitude is drawn from the to the hypotenuse then the two triangles thus form will be similar to the original triangle and to each other. Let's begin with this children. So in this video children we are going to learn theorem. The theorem says that in a right angled triangle if the triangle is a right angled triangle let us see this is your right angled triangle. So in this right angled triangle if you draw an altitude this is a right angle triangle label it as A, B, C and draw an altitude. Altitude means perpendicular line from the 90 degree only. If you draw the nine, uh, perpendicular line from the 90 degree then on what on hypotenuse this is hypotenuse then the two triangles which are formed now you can see here two triangles are formed let me label it as D. So you get here A, D, C one triangle. This is your A, A, D, C one triangle small triangle and another triangle B, D, C let me draw it here B, D, C. So these two triangles which are formed by drawing the altitude means perpendicular line on the hypotenuse AC is the hypotenuse H Y P U T E N U S E AC is the hypotenuse. Then the triangles which are formed are similar to the original one. Which is the original triangle? Triangle ABC. Okay. So this triangle will be similar to triangle ABC. And this triangle will be similar to triangle ABC. And also these two triangles will be similar to one another. Means we want to prove... We want to prove that triangle ABC similar to triangle ADB, this triangle ADB, ADB sorry, B, and similar to triangle BDC, that is this triangle, triangle BD. C. Let us prove it children. You can see one triangle drawn here. A, B, C which is 90 degree. So angle B is 90 degree given. Let me write down what is given. Triangle A, B, C angle B is 90 degree and we have to draw a perpendicular that is D on the hypotenuse AC is the hypotenuse children so I have drawn a perpendicular on the hypotenuse now you get to see the two triangle which I explained before I want to prove them similar to the original triangle and also I want to prove them similar to one another so if I move this triangle out what what can you see now let us do that if I move this small triangle out. So when I move this small triangle out what you can see children see. 
my point A, point A is this, this is point B, this point and this is point D. So, angle A is here and B is here, D is here. So, if again I will keep it back on its place, what will happen children? Suppose I am keeping it back on its place, what you can see? You could see that angle A is completely covering angle A. Yes, angle A is completely covering angle A. This means angle A is completely covering angle A means angle A is equal to angle A. So, I can write this solution in triangle. ABC which is bigger one and triangle ADB smaller one. What is equal here? I found it now. Angle A is equal to angle A and reason for this is what? They are common. Common means they entirely cover one another when I am keeping them back. Common angle. Now if you look at these two figure in this triangle and in this triangle, what is equal other than angle A? Angle B of course is equal to angle D. And why it is equal? Because you can see here this and this means 90 degree, each 90 degree. And why this angle is 90 degree? Because we have drawn perpendicular construction we have done. Yes. What construction we have done? BD is perpendicular to AC. The statement only says if an altitude is drawn from B to the hypotenuse, altitude is drawn from B to the hypotenuse, then the triangle thus formed is similar to the original one and are similar to one another. So, what can we say about this triangle and this triangle? This angle is equal to this angle because common angle, angle D is equal to angle B because each 90 degree. Therefore, triangle, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABC is similar to triangle what? A is equal to A na? So, here I will write A. Then next angle is B. So, I will write D because B is equal to D. D, B of small triangle. And how they are similar to one another and why they are similar to one another? Because of angle, angle test. So, let us label it as 1. Okay. Now children do one thing, keep this triangle back again on the same triangle. Now we will be moving this small triangle. Suppose I take this small triangle. This angle is 90 degree children. And this point is point D. This point is C. And this point is B. If I am keeping this triangle back on its place, what can I, you, uh, when I removed it, what you saw, immediately I removed it out. And if I am keeping it back now, what you will see? 
nothing as you did before. Angle C will, will completely overlap angle C. Angle B will come here and point D will be there, C. Yes. That means angle C is entirely covering angle C means angle C is equal to angle C. So we can write here in triangle ABC. See now you see this two triangle in triangle ABC and triangle DBC. Okay, DBC. Angle C is equal to angle C because when I moved this triangle and kept here, this angle was overlapping this angle. So we can write angle C equal to angle C and this is mean common angle, common angle. Angle D is 90 degree and angle B is also 90 degree. Angle D is equal to angle B each is 90 degree and this is given only we can say here also we can say given okay because they are given 90 degree. So we can say that triangle A B C similar to triangle small triangle now A B C C is in last and C is equal to C. See angle C is equal to angle C. So I will write here angle C. Next angle is B. This angle of bigger triangle. This angle of bigger triangle is equal to what? D of small triangle. D. So C over D over now left is B. B, D, C. And this is your second statement children. Now what you can understand? You can understand from here triangle ABC is similar to ADB. Triangle ABC is also similar to BDC. That means triangle ABC will be similar to ADB will be similar to BDC. I can write at the end. And why these are I forgot to tell you. See here how triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC because of angle angle test. Angle angle test. So finally we can write down that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB similar to triangle BDC from 1 and 2. Now let me keep this triangle back in its position children. Okay. So we have proved and this is what we wanted to prove. This is what we wanted to prove that triangle ABC similar to triangle ADB similar to triangle BDC. Okay. This is what we got at the end. Now if such kind of figure you get while solving always remember what is the sequence you have to take. See when I took from here triangle ABC similar to triangle BDC when I wanted to write the corresponding angle should fall to should fall like C should be and if C is here at the end and C is equal to C so C should be at the end only that sequence should never be missed because otherwise corresponding side will not when you will take the ratio of the corresponding side they will not fall properly that will be a wrong corresponding sides. Okay. And if B is equal to B, if B is equal to D, so there should be D only second. 
Is that clear? And that is the reason we are taking. Now this sequence we will be using to prove Pythagoras theorem, geometric mean theorem. Okay. Now how, what is the sequence and in what way you should take? If the right angle triangle is there, if the right angle triangle is there and you have drawn a perpendicular from the vertex to the hypotenuse, then in what fashion you must take? Very, very important, you should remember it and you should also draw this which I will be giving now in your textbook. In which fashion you should take the sequence of triangle ABC? This is the fashion. From A you should move to C triangle ABC. With pencil you should draw the children. Now A D B and here it ends and then you begin from here B D C. C. So triangle A B C is similar to triangle A D B is similar to triangle B D C. Now how it will be useful in using the corresponding sides in using uh, while we are making use of corresponding side how it will be useful to prove Pythagoras theorem and geometric mean theorem we will come to know in the next video children learn the theorem very well children practice it as many times as you want and like my video share my video